कैन यू टेल मी वट आर आइसो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक आयस फर्स्ट शुड हैव सेम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सेकेंड दे शुड हैव सेम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन दे शुड हैव सेम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक configuration say for example al3 plus mg2 plus na plus f minus o2 minus n3 minus let us see how many protons all of these are having 13 12 11 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 these are the number of protons that they are having now let us talk about the electrons that they are having 10 10 10 10 10 okay now how do i calculate the electronic configuration of an ion okay so let me explain you something over here about this part i'll use the space ha huh? so you see suppose i am given h3po4 okay and they ask me what is the electronic configuration of phosphorus in h3po4 so how do i solve it see in h3po4 phosphorus has got plus 5 oxidation state what is the oxidation state of phosphorus plus 5 okay now oh, you know that phosphorus has got a total of 15 electrons phosphorus has got a uh, the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 it is in the plus 5 state plus 5 state means it must have lost 5 electrons it must have lost 5 electron so 15 minus 5 this will be 10 okay so now what will be the electronic configuration of atomic number 10 1s2 2s2 2p6 okay got it likewise how many electron fluorine is having you will say sir 9 f minus means 10 so what is the electronic configuration of 10 1s2 2s2 2p6 oxygen is having 8 electrons it gains 2 so becomes 10 nitrogen has got 7 gains 3 so becomes 10 magnesium has got 12 loses 2 so become 10 so they have got the same electrons but at the same time same electronic configuration so in this direction the ionic radius increases so there is a simple concept in case of isoelectronic cations i'm talking about isoelectronic cations radius ionic is inversely proportional to charge higher the charge lesser the radius higher the charge lesser the radius in case of isoelectronic anions the radius the ionic radius is directly proportional to charge okay